You requested it, it's here today. I'm gonna be showing you how to arrange a full hard groove techno track. We're also gonna be talking about how to make the elements and then how to arrange them in the full track. To go along this video, you can get this fully arranged track template. Links at the top of the description, the samples, MIDI, presets, Ableton file, everything is there so you can follow along and make your own tracks. You know, if you grab this template, this is a really useful thing. You can build your own tracks off of this. You can build a whole EP just off this one template. So then we go ahead and grab this. It's gonna help take your tracks to the next level today. Don't miss out. Links at the top of the description. Thanks for the support, guys. And let's dive in. Alright, so we're at 140 BPM, and the first thing I want to show you here is, you know, there's actually not too many elements. Like, when it comes to a fully arranged track, I've shown you guys a lot how to do those loops, but, you know, when it comes to fully arranging the track, there's not that much more that you're going to add that I haven't really already shown. I think these tracks need to be minimal. I think the real key to arranging these tracks in the first gem here is, like, automation instead of adding new elements, right? Like, for example, here we have this high pass filter on the kick. So that's gonna come in a lot, you know, and keep things moving. <laughs> right, it's a lot more opened up when that comes in. It's like very subtle automations like this, or even the automation of just having like, you know, we have these percussion loops, right? And check it out, like, you can see there's a whole arrangement happening in here, right? Like, it starts like this. Then you get that. Right, and then as the track goes on, you know, then we get to this break and some of these kind of disappear. Then we come back and there's less. So it's kind of like, you know, these three main parts of the track. Like you have over here, you have the middle here, which is like the main peak time part of the track. And then you have over here, which is trying to drop down the energy. And so a lot of this arrangement really just comes from like using these live loops that you have to have, right? Like you have to have that live percussion and the bongos and all that kind of stuff to really have that hard groove feel. But, you know, just taking those in and out can do a lot for the arrangement. And I think people are quick to overthink it and think, oh, like, you know, how do I keep the arrangement moving and stuff? And then you look at the arrangement and it's like, they just have this for the whole track. Like all that percussion happening at once. So yeah, a lot of the arrangement can happen just from building tension by having more or less of these coming in since these are so important in the track. And even like here, there's this one. Like we don't even hear that start at all until almost two minutes into the track when we're hitting that main part, right? And also on that tip, the ride symbol. Right, I've got this little ride groove happening here. It's just a 707 ride. It's being spread out using the echo here, and then we're side chaining it and high passing it. But you know, that can do a lot of arranging as well. Like in the intro, you know, build things up with the loops. And then once that's gotten pretty full, okay, here. Then the ride can come in, right? So there's a lot of arrangement to be had with the drums, right? And then you just keep like all of these, like the kick and the main drums. Those are mostly going to be happening all the way through, right? But then it's all these other little layers like the loops and the ride that can do a lot of the arranging for you. You know, don't overthink it. And then you take out the kick here. And there you go take out like more of these you could even do like this like maybe here and then it hits again super hard and then another thing you're gonna hear like I was saying with the arrangement instead of new elements or automation instead of new elements is we're using reverb here To 
to sort of create a riser, right? And then when the drop hits, it, it stops, you know? It's all about getting the most mileage out of the least. So instead of using like a riser sample or like some noise or something like that, just have this create the riser. And it does it over here as well. And yeah, and these stabs are another place where you can really like just take your time introducing them. And maybe take some of them out too, like in the drop over here. And you can get a lot more bang for your buck just by taking out certain things. So you can see like, you know, a lot of the arrangement really just happens from these main elements. People don't realize that it's like... It's not all the effects and stuff. There's very minimal effects in this track. Really, the arrangement is just happening by taking out and bringing back in different elements. You know, then over here, like, we take this out. Right, and then it comes back for that break there. And then when we get back, now we take out even more stabs and make it really minimal. You know, it's not hard to really establish which part of the track you're in just by taking out certain main elements. But that's the main thing I wanted to show you in this video is like arranging these hard groove tracks is not coming from a whole lot of new things coming in that you haven't already seen. It's just using these elements that I've already shown you guys in these videos and just getting creative with taking them in and out over four or five minutes to create that track arrangement because these tracks are meant to be minimal. You're meant to be able to play like two or three of these together at the same time so if you have so much new stuff and all these different background effects happening it's not gonna work with the DJ it's gonna be too busy right and then as far as like other arrangement things I think so I've shown you all the stuff that's gonna be you know very rapid fire constantly another thing that's really gonna make the arrangements here is you have all that rapid fire stuff that's coming in and out but then you're also just gonna have these little sounds like this vocal and these little background effects that I do have Just like that, just really subtle, just popping in and out there. And then that's going to contrast against the stuff that's, you know, constantly running. And you're just going to have that little, like that, when that one vocal hits. It's really going to hit. So essentially, that's what a lot of this is too, is it's contrast between some things are constantly going like all this percussion and then some things are just gonna pop in and out and then they're gonna be subtle like the vocal you know it's just a little vocal a little bit of delay it's a very catchy vocal though right like when that plays on the dance floor they're gonna know what track it is even if three or four other tracks are being played at the same time there's also you know like these little effects down here so these are really subtle but you can see what's happening is I've just got a drum rack with a ton of different effects these are all from my 50 essential track effects pack And so what it is, it's all these sounds in a drum rack just popping in and out very subtly so that you don't have it like super in your face. But then it's also not just like the basic stuff. Like obviously you do need something more than just that type of stuff, right? Like these effects. It gives you something fresh and something exciting. So all you gotta do is again, just grab a bunch of effects out of a sample pack, use my 50 Ultimate Essential Track Effects Pack. It's got all the sounds you would really need for this. Drag them into a drum rack and then just a little bit of reverb. And then the key here also is we have some movement here. So first of all, it's being side chain, of course, but you can see we have a f band pass filter moving very slowly with an LFO. And also this auto pan moving the volume. I have the phase at zero, so it's not panning anything. It's just messing with the volume and it's really slow. So that over the track, over the, all the times that you hear these same sounds between the band pass filter and the volume, It's going to be constantly a different thing. And it's just going to add that little sort of subtle effect in the background. 
So you don't even always hear these, right? Sometimes, you know, the filter and the volume stuff kind of ducks them out. But that's the point. It's just going to be constantly moving and staying a bit more exciting and fresh throughout the track. And yeah, as long as you do that, as long as you follow these steps, you should have yourself a really solid, full, hard groove techno track. Again, it's not actually that hard. It's really just using those main elements to create an arrangement and then creating a bit of contrast between the stuff that's constantly going and then the stuff like the vocal and the effects that are going to be in the background and yeah so that's gonna be it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed as always make sure to like this video as well as subscribe let me know what you think of this video in the comments definitely go grab this full track template at the top of the description it's the best way to make your best hard groove techno track today i promise if you grab this you can build a lot of tracks off of this template and really learn from it you're gonna see a difference immediately in your track making there's not much you can do right now to make better tracks today but if you get this template i promise you will thank you so much for the support everybody and i'll see you tomorrow with another video yeah.